joining us live then here on iFollow. It's Luton Town Manager Nathan Jones uh, safely through to round three of the FA Cup, a 1-0 win over Bury this afternoon. Yeah, and a wonderful result. Um, I thought a wonderful performance after the first sort of 15 minutes they came out of the traps. But once we stuck to the game plan, I thought we were comfortable for most of the afternoon, if I'm honest. And uh, you, you know, you don't get to see us play like that very often, where we we sit back and, and be compact and then hit teams on the counter-attack because we know we have different facets and we know that if we want to go to the next level we're going to have to have that part of, a, of our game right at it and I thought we were excellent and for all the possession that Barry had we probably had the better chances and should have, should have killed the game off earlier because we've had some wonderful chances on the counter-attack and realistically Chazy's had one or two saves, they've missed a chance first off, it's probably their best chance the one where I think it was Maynard uh, missed first off but apart from that I felt there was a a good cup tie, but I, I felt it was a reasonably comfortable afternoon. To be fair to Barry, yeah, a couple of chances early doors, Maynard and Dan's um, missing, but uh, they put in a good performance, uh, particularly in that first 45 minute for a lower league opposition. No, no, let's, let's not get carried away with anything. These, these are not a lower league team. The budgets, I would be surprised if it's a championship budget, it's definitely a top end um, League One budget. The players they got, Dan's, Mayer, O'Shea, and uh, Nick, Nicky Maynard, the people they got here are not League Two players. These, these, if these don't win League what, League Two, I'll be very, very surprised because they're the best side in League Two by a mile. Their structure causes you real problems, and that's why we paid them the ultimate respect. And I thought we were excellent in, in it. I said first 15 minutes we needed to get a grip with it. We needed because we were still trying to press when we weren't set. But then I, I thought we were excellent, and I thought it's a real good cup tight, real difficult place to come to because these have been winning fours and fives and have been out of sight oh, in teams. Okay. They've been doing to teams in League Two what we've been doing in, in League One. So we paid them the ultimate respect and we got the result. And I'm very, very pleased and proud because we showed a different side to us today, and I thought we were excellent. That goal came uh, just before the break. Uh, a lovely move down the left hand side. James Collins released and uh, pulled it back for Harry from close range. 1 0. It could have been 2 0 just minutes later, couldn't it? And perhaps should have been, well, should have been as well to, to hopefully try and wrap the game up before the break. Well, we got in behind them so many times that if you just pick the right pass, we'd out the side by half time, is what we're saying. Because Harry should have done it for a for, for thing like James did for him, he should have done for, for uh, like, like, like James done for him, he should have done for someone else. Jack Stacey's got in that position as well and tried to shoot when he just had to square it well at Leo as a tap in. Then second half, we have a wonderful chance right in front of the goal. You think James Conn's going to kill. And they're, they're clear chances that we should score, you know? And we sacrificed possession today because we knew that we have that facet where we can really go and attack teams on the counter. And we did that and thought we were excellent. And overall then through to the next round of the FA Cup and your thoughts looking ahead to the draw on Monday? I just hope it's a real good one. I, you know, I, I really want a real good, a good time now because the further we progress in this, yeah, everyone gets the reputations increase and vet revenue will increase and so on, but it'll take us the focus away. So I really want a big tie. Let's give the people a loot and something really to get behind and to, to excite everyone because I'd rather get promoted than win the FA Cup. You've mentioned about paying uh, Barry the utmost respect today, an unchanged starting 11 again, uh, continuing uh, the theme of recent weeks. Uh, any sort of thoughts on changing things around for this game, or was it always in your mind to, to stick with the side that's been doing so well? We've got a game Wednesday, so you know, that's, that's the thing. If we didn't have a game Wednesday, they might have. But I knew we had to pay these the ultimate respect because they're a very, very good side. Trust me, they can hurt you. There are players in there who are above the level and show that week in, week out because they annihilate teams in here. And you know, and they, they, they don't embarrass teams. I'm not, I'm not going to go as far as that. But they really do. You know, they really do carve teams open. They didn't do that with us today, and that's a credit to, to the, the defensive shape, the work that we put in. Because I thought we were excellent. We had better chances than those, even though they had we allowed them to have far more possession. You take great pride in a clean sheet as well, away from home at a very difficult uh, ground. Yeah, this, look, this, is, this is as hard, if not harder, than going to, to a lot of League One sides. So we did them to keep a clean sheet and to score. And I said, I'm, I'm disappointed because for, our, all the attack, for all the attacking play we work on and the counter-attacking we work on and the players we have on the pitch, the right decision making, because as I said, Pelly had a great chance to put Harry Cornick clean in, the right decision making and the, the uh, element of quality we win that far more comfortably, far more comfortably. And I'm not being disrespectful to Barry because they were excellent in possession, they really were. But we defended well and we had opportunities to have won that on the counter by a far greater margin. And just finally, uh, albeit only for a few minutes, but it was Danny Hilton's 100th appearance for Luton Town uh, this afternoon. Yeah, look, it won't be a memorable one apart from a team performance, but Danny has done wonderful for us. And I said, it's not about him. He'll have far more appearances for us where he, um, where he contributes a, a, a hate of a lot because he does that for us. He's so important for us. It's good to have him back. 
I didn't bring him on the other day because he hadn't had those minutes and, and, and things he needed in another week. Now this gives him an extra couple of days. And then we obviously have Wednesday to, to, to sharpen him up again. But look, wonderful performance. So difficult place to come to. Bit of romance in it. Definite cup, uh, cup upset was on the cards. And I thought we were excellent. I thought we showed a real professionalism today about us and, and a different side to us, which I'm pleased with. Many thanks, Nathan. Cheers. Just on Harry's head, I mean, there's another goal for him. I think that's two in the last sort of four or five games. You know, he did time his run well, didn't he, for that one? Yeah, and he did. But we counter attack very well. We work so hard on counter attacking. This is not, you know, a fluke in, in what we do. And, and, and it was a great ball across. That technically, you know, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have missed that, and he didn't. But we've had so many chances. We've been in at their keeper on a few occasions that we should have wrapped the game up. And we've got to show that killer edge, that quality. And we've scored fives and sixes, or fours and fives and threes regularly, but we can do that. Now we've showed today, I'm, the thing I'm proud of today is we showed a different side to us, because we go after teams and we dominate possession, we carve them open and so on. And today, because we're going to need that, we've got some big games coming up, where we're going to, in the future, God willing, we're going to have to go to some big places, we're going to need to show a different side to, our, uh, to, to, to us. And I thought we did that today.